In this video, we will make sense of the output of rational functions. So recall that a rational function is a function whose output represents the ratio of two polynomial expressions. Let's come up with some examples of this. So we could say f of x is equal to, now if we want to write a rational function or give some examples, all we have to do is write the ratio of any two polynomial expressions. So the constant one is a polynomial expression and x is another one. So f of x equals one divided by x is a rational function. Some other examples might be g of x equals x plus five divided by x squared minus two x plus seven and so on. So all we need is the ratio of two polynomial expressions. To make sense of the output of these rational functions, let's take a step back and recall that any number a is a divided by b times as large as b. So this ratio right here, a divided by b, tells us the size of a relative to b. So as an explicit example, five divided by four is equal to 1.25. And this tells us that five is 1.25 times as large as four. So anytime we look at a ratio, the value of that ratio tells us the size of the numerator relative to the size of the denominator. Let's use this way of thinking to make sense of a specific rational function. So suppose f of x equals x plus two divided by x squared minus four. When x is equal to four, we know that x plus two is equal to six and x squared minus four is equal to 12. So if we go in and we look at this ratio x plus two divided by x squared minus four, that's equal to six divided by 12, which equals 0 0.5. And therefore, when x equals four, the numerator is 0 0.5 times as large as the denominator. Now the output of this rational function represents that relative size, or more specifically, f of four is really just this value right here. And so f of four is equal to 0 0.5. If we plug four in for x's in our function rule, we get an output of 0 0.5. And this tells us that that numerator x plus two is 0 0.5 times as large as the denominator when x equals four. So in general, if we have a rational function f, so if f is just any rational function, then the output f of x tells us the size of the numerator relative to the denominator. So if we were to say something like f of x equals seven, that would tell us that the numerator is seven times as large as the denominator of that rational function. So we can always think of the output of rational functions as a relative size comparison of the numerator to the denominator.